Qian Chun declared himself the king. But as a descendant of Xian Yan, a distinguished general of the Chu state, should I be more credible than him if I declared myself a king? Well, I don't think we should do it in such a hurry. Hmm. You are really short-sighted. Please, don't get angry, General. I also agree with what he said. Worthy Teacher Fawn, how can you agree with him? My General, in the former years when the Qin was fighting to annex all the six states, the Chu state battled against the Qin most fiercely. So a saying, even if there are only three households left in the Chu state, it will be Chu people to destroy the Qin Empire at last, came down to the generations. So, when you raise the flag to recover the Chu state, all the people rush to your service enthusiastically. Do you remember, my general? Right. Does that not suggest that I should declare myself a king and establish my hegemony? No, General. It seemed that all the heroes were coming to your service, but actually they submitted themselves to the authority of the King of Chu. Now, if you acclaim yourself a king, the morale of our army will slacken. Chen Sheng's failure should be your warning. In your opinion, then, do we just have a group without a leader? Certainly not. I heard that the King of Chu left an orphan who has been drifting about the country. If we can find him and then raise him to be the king, all the rebel troops will then submit to your command. At that time, you can give your orders and you will sweep the enemy aside. Exactly, worthy teacher. What you say are all words of gold. We'll do as you advise. However, there are so many people in this huge world. Where can we find that orphan? I would guess that the child is most probably staying around Shecheng. You will find him if you send many people to look for him, all around the city. Good. I'll send people out right away. I hope we do not have to wait too long. Hey, worthy brother, if you don't have urgent things to do, please give us a hand. Of course. I'll try my best.
This should be the best location. We can climb onto the top of the hill and then enter the city. There'll be patrolling troops on the rampart. Be on the alert. Xiao He said we can help them attack the city from the outside, as long as we can cause some disorder inside the city. I think the best way to cause chaos in the city is to assassinate Yong Chi, the defending officer. Let's go. With your help, we have successfully taken over Fengxian County. Lord Liu is waiting for you in the commander's tent. It's only because of you that we were able to recapture Fengxian County so easily. You were so courageous that you dared to deal with the rebels alone and killed Yong Chi, the rebel general. We really don't know how to thank you. Don't mention it, General. Actually, my power was limited in such a big battle. I only did what I could. That's all. Although you have had a victory, you don't get complacent. In my opinion, you can be a general with command of a big army. Well, I am so flattered. I was wondering what you were going to do next. Chen Sheng died and there is no leader for the rebel troops throughout the realm. Fortunately, Xianliang has found a grandson of the King Huai of Chu, and they have raised him to be the king. I am going there to return them to the army I borrowed, and I have decided to join them to plan the great undertaking with them. That's fine. It's better for you to ally with each other than to be defeated by the Qin's army one by one. I'm starting out. Please, go to Sui Cheng to find me when you have time. All right. Goodbye for now.
Lord Lee, are you all right? Who, who, who is that? I, I have confessed everything. Please, please, I beg you not to beat me anymore. Lord Lee, wake up. Take a close look to see who I am. Ah, uh, you, your highness. How did, did you come here? Lord Lee. There is no time for further talk. I will help you escape right now. You want to rescue me from this prison? No, you can't do it. This prison is heavily guarded. No one can escape even if he or she has wings. Prince, please don't waste your efforts. How can I leave you like this? I promised to Leo that I would rescue you. Is it? You mean my son? He, he's still alive? Well, don't cheat me. The prison guard said he'd been killed at Sichuan Prefecture. That's only a trick. We spread that rumor to make Zhao Gao's guard relax. Now, Li Yu is waiting for us right outside. Ah, my son is alive, and I can set my heart at ease. Prince, your highness, thank you so much for having come to save me, though I am clear that this prison escape will not be successful. Maybe. Prince, please listen to me. Indeed, I deserve every punishment. Do you know? That night at Xiaocho, suspicions darted into my mind about the sudden death of the first emperor. But I was persuaded by Zhao Go, in the end, and changed the original imperial order, which nominated you as second emperor. Alas. Only because of my own selfishness. 
only because I was afraid of losing my power. Actually, I was corrupted step by step from that day onwards. <sighs> to secure my power, I subjected myself to Zhao Gao's will. <sighs> I... Let bygones be bygones. Now we must find a way to save you. No need to do that, Prince. But please tell Li Yo, if you see him, that I really have many pleasant recollections of that period when we were in Shangshai. We took our brown dog and caught rabbits outside the east gate of the town. Alas, everything is over. Lord Li, we may yet find an opportunity to escape. Please don't give up. Prince, please don't waste time any longer. This is what I deserve. By the way, how did you get in the prison? I found Huang Feng, my good friend, and got an official pass for admission into the prison. What? Good heavens, Prince. Go now, hurry up, or time is up. <laughs> You have no time already. Huan Feng, you... you betrayed me. <laughs> Fu Su, you are the most wanted criminal. Now the prison has been surrounded. Surrender, now. You... you... Prince, he is not that Wang Feng of formal times any longer. Take a look and you will find that there is a crimson between his eyebrows. Apparently he's been controlled by Zhao Go's magic. The real Hong Feng has died. What? There are many people like Wang Feng in the court who have just become walking corpses. You may relieve him from his sufferings by killing him. Fu Su, surrender now! What are you waiting for? I am a descendant of the Ying, the Imperial Clan. I am willing to die rather than surrender. Just kill me if you can. Huh. <laughs> I don't want to bother myself. You, just take him.
You. Why didn't you shy away from his attack? Prince, I... I am not trying to undermine you. I have to obey others. I... I have no choice in the matter. Brother Juan. Brother. Do... Do you still take me as your brother? We were brought up together and went through fire and water together many times. How can I deny you are my brother? We grew up together. We... We used to hope to grow up quickly when we were young. Yes. Then we slept together, had our meals together, and always competed in height. General Juan always said that we were really like full brothers. <coughs> Now we are adults, but with more worries to burden us. Come on and kill. Kill me, brother. Brother Juan. Dear brother. <coughs> to kill me is the only way to do away with Jargal's witchcraft. And I will have no regrets if I'm killed by you. Brother Juan, how, how can I do that? Come on, dear brother. Brother Juan, then, shall, shall we still be brothers in our next lives? Dear brother, see, see you in our next lives. No! One question. Where do you think Zhao Gao learned his witchcraft? <laughs> I heard that he used to ask many wizards in the Miao territory to teach him. That's the point. He learned witchcraft from the Miao people. Among all the wizards there, surely we would be able to find one to get rid of Zhao Gao's witchcraft. Yes. Why didn't I think of that? Brother Juan, we may still be able to save you. I can take you there, and we will find a wizard who can help you. Is it true? <coughs> Why don't you go first? If I go with you, you will have more trouble. Brother Juan. Rest easy. These souls. Leave here quickly, or it'll be too late. Brother Juan, I... Take good care of yourself.
Zhao Gao finally revealed his evil nature. In order to dominate the entire country, he did not even want to spare Li Se, his old partner. So in order to sweep Li Se aside, he devised a scheme to frame Li Yo, Li Se's son, who is in charge of Sanchuan Prefecture, accusing him of betraying the country. But he has never thought your coming could turn all his plans awry. You cleverly take the chance and persuade Li Yo, with whom you have been close since childhood, to surrender and help him pretend he has been killed in battle. Just as Zhao Gao lowers his guard, you return to Shenyang, and the giant...
Now Zhang Han is thinking of surrendering, but it is too late. How can I avenge my uncle? I must take his head. Well, well... General Xiang, a dying lion still has the strength for a final attack. Although Zhang Han is in an inferior position at the moment, we can't take him lightly. Even if we win, we may be weakened by him. According to the Book of Tactics, to win without fighting a battle, that's the best strategy. I hope you think it over, my general. You overestimate Zhang Han too much. Yes, he still has 200,000 Qin troops under his command, but I need only give my orders and lead my troops forward. They will fall away before us. What do you say, worthy teacher Fan? Worthy teacher Fan? Don't you think so? What you said sounds reasonable. But did you forget one thing, General? Before you led troops towards Julu, King Huai of Chu had given his orders. He who is the first to enter the capital of Xianyang will be titled King of Hanzhong. I observe that Liu Bang is the only one among all the generals who can compare with you. Do you know where Liu Bang is now, General? Well, it is reported that Liu Bang has reached Yang Cheng. But, but when can I avenge my uncle then? Although we won battles all the way, we also tired our army and we lack food stocks. We can still attack Zhang Han. However, I am afraid that we don't have the strength to fight against Liu Bang afterwards. Hmm, I see. Well, I will accept Zhang Han's surrender. However, his 200,000 troops. <laughs> I can't leave them alive. What? How would you like to deal with them, General? <laughs> That's easy. I will bury them all alive as a sacrifice to my uncle's soul in heaven. If I do not do this, how can I appease my anger and resentment? General, but this is wrong. We must not do that. If you do that, it is hard to forecast the outcome. You'd better not make a decision so quickly, General. Teacher Fan, just now, didn't you mention that we didn't have adequate food stores? How can we afford to feed 200,000 Qin troops if we accept them? Well, <coughs> well, uh, I don't know what to say. Ha 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 ha! That's it! Sima Jin, get back to report to Zhang Han immediately! How can you take the lives? of all the 200,000 Qin soldiers who surrender to you so lightly. General Xiang, how cruel you are. Birds of different feathers will not flock together. Goodbye, General. By nature, Xiang Yu is rude, cruel, and obstinate. Although he himself has the strength and valor to engage 10,000 enemies, he cannot tolerate others. He is unable to achieve any great undertakings. Let's go to Yang Cheng to follow Liu Bang.
Governor, a, a big problem. Why are you in such a panic? Hasn't Liu Bang's army retreated from Wan Chang? I'm thinking of your strategy to make a pincer attack on them, with our troops and troops from Xianyang. What's happened then? But they only pretended to retreat. Actually, they returned and surrounded our city at midnight. It seems that they are trying to conquer Wan Chang by force. What? Order all the troops to defend the city to the end. Thinking that Liu Bang has left, all our generals and soldiers started a celebration and drank too much, so that even now many of them are still drunk. Furthermore, Liu Bang's side are beating their drums and sounding their bugle calls for a battle wildly. And many of our troops are already in a state of panic. What? What should we do? I don't think Wan Chang can survive the battle tonight. You'd better try to break through the siege and leave as soon as possible. How can I do that? How can I leave all the troops guarding the city and all the innocent civilians? Well... Let me tell you what to do. Who's that? Who dares to burst into the commander's hall? I am an envoy sent by Liu Bang. I have come to give you some advice, Governor. What? You bold spy! Come and capture him now! Wait a moment. Why not listen to what he wants to say first? Well, all right. What have you got to say? Governor, I think you are right about the current situation. Wan Chung definitely will be lost sooner or later. It's better to surrender to us than let all your troops die when the city is taken. Shut up! I am an official of the Great Qin. How can I surrender to a traitor? I really admire you. You are so upright. But how can you sit and see all your men slaughtered in the battle? Well, I heard that even though Zhang Han surrendered, all his troops were still buried alive by Shang Yu. So it's all the same whether we surrender or not. Why don't I let them die with honor? Governor, Liu Bang is different from Xiang Yu. Liu Bang always treats troops who have surrendered with kindness and he forbids his men from disturbing the common people, wherever they are. You may have heard something about that. Well? Governor, I have heard something about Liu Bang's conduct, and I regard him as a rare hero. Under this condition, I think surrender is the only solution. God's will. God's will, really. The great Qin is destined to die. Well, surrender then. Bolt spy, how dare you talk nonsense here? Come, arrest him now! Governor, you go retire. Leave them for me. Come on, come on. Experience my ferocity now. Kill! General Lu, here is the governor of Wan Chung. I have persuaded him to surrender. Excellent. You've made a great contribution. Governor, please don't worry. I will ensure everything will be well with your troops who surrender at Wang Cheng, and I will not disturb the civilians at all. Then I can feel at ease. Now Wan Cheng has been conquered, and I have no worries in my rear. I can lead my troops to take Xianyang straight away. Brother, would you like to offer a hand again? No, sir. I don't think I can, because I have something I must deal with. So again, you will leave mysteriously. You are always like a riddle to me. Well, I don't want to force you. Go to do your own business. I will never hesitate if I can be of some help to you. Well, thank you very much but I think I can manage it. Fine. But could you tell me where you're going? Will you come back after you finish it? I am going to the Erpung Palace to 
take my revenge. But how can I tell you? Well, even I don't know. Just wherever I feel like. All right. Then I have to bid you farewell, my brother. Let's drink this cup. Take good care, always. Good. Let's drink our fill. My son, I've been so worried about you. I thought I would never see you again. Dad! <laughs> well, don't cry anymore. Come on, let's thank the uncle who saved your life. Thank you very much, hero. Thank you, uncle. That's all right. Goodbye. Wait a moment, please. I don't know how to thank you. This treasure is my heirloom, Monster Nafu's hoof, which was said to be a divine thing in ancient times. But it can't be more important than my son's life, whatever treasure it is. I give it to you as a token of my grateful heart. How can I accept such a treasure from you? Please don't refuse. That's a token of my thanks. Please take it. All right. I accept.
I heard that the rebels were very powerful. I'm not sure if our generals can ward them off. Alas, all those good-for-nothings. You can never rely on them at critical moments, although they boast so much about their abilities in peacetime. Well, it is so late at night. What have you come here for? Didn't you know that I would be preparing to go to bed? You are such a dog, Emperor. Since you were raised to the throne, how many innocent people have lost their precious lives because of your cruelty? Now, under the order from Master Zhao Gao, I have come to kill you, tyrant. What? Zhao Gao? He... How dare he try to kill me? The Emperor! I treat him with boundless favour. He... he... Don't waste any words. Just prepare to die. Wait, wait. C could you let me have a good talk with Zhao Gao? Oh, oh, oh no, Master Zhao Gao. Don't dream any more. Master Zhao doesn't want to see you again. I beg you to send word to Master Zhao that I don't want to be the Emperor any longer. I just pleaded with him to give me a title of king of a small state. Ha! <laughs> That's impossible. Then how about only the title of Lord of Wanhu? You'd better forget that, too. Well, then never mind. Please tell Master Zhao that I only want to be a common person. Please beg of him to spare my life out of consideration for our old friendship. Don't waste words. Master Zhao is waiting for our reports after the completion of this mission. You die now. Hurry up. Let's go to the living quarters of Ziying. Master Zhao must be waiting for us anxiously. Well, it seems that something strange happened here. What's that? Ah? Uh -huh. How can it be like this? Who hi? Who hi? Ah. Elder brother. Is is that really you? Am I dead? Who hi? What on earth is the matter? Who wanted to kill you? It's Zhao. Zhao Gao. This mean son of a bitch. Elder brother, how I hate myself. At that time to become the emperor, I held Zhao Gao. Killed father. This must be the retribution. What? You are really the person who strangled father? No, not me. It's Zhao Gao. Who, who, who did it? At that moment, my father was catching hold of my clothes. My, my clothes with his hand. I, I couldn't move at all. Huh? No, he comes to seize me again. Oh, how cold, cold I am feeling. Who hi? Who hi? Oh no. Quickly. Go to the Ning's hall quickly. Zhao Gao is probably there. I'm dying, brother, but I really don't want to. D die. What evil? Zhao Gao, you killed my father. I can't stand to live under the same heaven with you. You wait for me.
two useless louts. Does it take you that long to kill Hu Hai? Pardon us, master. We shouldn't have kept you waiting for so long. We must take care next time. Hm. Next time? Next time, if you dare, I will make your heads fall to the ground. Well, yes. What's happening with Zhe Ying? That little bastard has the same stubborn temperament as his father, Fu Su. He refused to be raised to the throne despite my urging. I have sent my men to take him back to my palace. Hm. I will punish him when I get back. <laughs> He is just easy meat for you, my lord. Let's wait and see. Some friends are coming towards us. Who? You devil. Today we must settle the intense hatred between us. Well, Fusu, it is really you. A narrow escape from death indeed. Fusu, I expected that we might meet one day. However, today I don't want to kill you myself. If you really have power and courage, go to my palace to challenge me. Yan Le, Zhao Cheng, take good care of Fusu. <laughs> Never mind, my lord. Surely one year from today will be the anniversary of his death. Don't flee, you traitor! Fusu, save your strength. Don't you know you're dying? You disgust me, you bastards. You helped the tyrant do great evil. How can I spare you?
father was strangled by Zhao Gao. Hearing Hu Hai sobbing these words, although you are prepared.
Prince? What a joke. For years you've been trying to take my life, and you call me a prince? <laughs> Zhao Gao, my father, the first emperor, was poisoned. You did it, didn't you? <laughs> yes, I did that. By the way, if he had not sent you to defend the border, you would have been poisoned together with your vicious father. A father treated you well, Zhao Gao. Why? Why did you do that? Why? <laughs> because I want to be the emperor. At the moment when I was witnessing his coronation ceremony, I swore one day I would replace him. Ministers bowing to me. Hundreds of thousands of soldiers in my hands. The Empire only means those ministers and troops to you? Don't you see? The rebel army menacing Xianyang, the capital? Even if you become the Emperor someday, aren't you afraid you would one day suffer a most painful death? That's the height of my ambition. Whatever the cost, I don't care. Ambition? Your ambition is actually to bring hardship and suffering to the common people, is it not? Aren't you selfishly pursuing power at the cost of thousands of innocent lives? <laughs> well, well, your highness, have you forgotten that your father established his power on the back of a great loss of life? That's not comparable. Unification of the whole nation meant a lot of wars, that's for sure. However, all the states were fighting each other all those years, and that left people homeless and destitute. To unify the whole realm was the only way to put an end to the continuous wars between the states. <laughs> it sounds very nice, your highness. But the Qin Empire is over! No matter how hard you try, you cannot change the course of history. Perhaps you can kill me now, but it won't help either. The Empire is collapsing by God's hand. Nothing can be done. But I can avenge my father and avenge General Meng Tian and the thousands of other innocent people you have murdered. And I will! Well, <laughs> for so, it is my fault that I didn't kill you a long time ago. I had not expected you to be so lucky. Your luck, however, runs out today, your highness. Hmm, threaten me? Utter nonsense. <laughs> for so, now your father's empire is in my hands. And you will be the first sacrifice to my empire. Now you die! Mercy, your highness! Don't kill me, please! Zhao Gao, accept your death now! Your highness, if you're so kind as to have mercy on me, I swear I will help you become the emperor! Shut up! Your highness, I beg you! Don't daydream. Why? What the hell is this? <laughs> I recovered my health! Fusu! 
Give me your head! Zhao Gao, what other tricks can you play? <laughs> well, you're really as tough as a rock. You're forcing me. Prepare to face my entire power then. Zhao Gao finally falls under your sword, and the evilness in his eyes gradually disappears. He is not reconciled to his defeat and reaches out his hands up to the sky, as if he wants to grasp tightly some kind of invisible force. However, at last, amidst your sighs, he falls to the icy ground with two empty hands. Eight or nine in every ten people who have really created history didn't leave their names behind. At this moment, all kinds of different thoughts are going through your mind. Your father's heroic qualities when he unified the whole realm and became the emperor. The carefree times when you played together with your brothers and sisters in your childhood the love of your wife when you were newly married, the lofty sentiments when you were guarding the border and riding horses all over the desert. All these thoughts and memories emerge vividly before your eyes. Tears fall down from your face silently. All these things seem to be in a dream, vague, but so very clear, too. Everything changes when you wake up. Only the ambition that you have harbored since your childhood is still the same. That is, to let the common people be free from the bitterness of war and the pain of displacement and homelessness. However, the Great Qin Empire has been shaking and is being pushed towards a precipice. Even if you ascend the throne, what can you do? To rescue the Qin Empire is not better than to begin a new chapter and a new dynasty. You think of Liu Bang. That's right. Today there are many heroes. But only Liu Bang has the lofty quality and the strategy to unify the world. Xiang Yu is a brave person without a strategy. Liu Bang should be the one to rule the world. So you find Liu Bang and you fight on his side together with Zhang Liang and Han Xin. At last, Liu Bang unifies the world. On the day Liu Bang ascends the throne, you take your leave and seek a quiet life. You leave behind a letter for Liu Bang. In the letter, you ask Liu Bang not to mention you to anyone and not to tell anyone that the Crown Prince of Qin 
Fu Su, ever helped him to gain the throne. From then on, you have become only an ordinary subject of the Han Dynasty, and your name is Zi Qin.